Hi, it's me again, doing something I shouldn't be doing. Fucked and drank all night, acted all alright. I'm going to be tinting my eyebrows with Just For Men. I don't know if you can tell, I look really strange because I've done all my other makeup apart from my eyes and my eyebrows. So, I have not touched them. And you can definitely tell. <laughs> I got the shade Dark Brown Black, which I like hope will be okay. It comes with like a little tray. And then you've got some gloves, a little brush thing, because obviously it's meant for your beard and that would be good for your beard, I would assume. And then it comes with a colour base and then a colour developer in like little squeezy tubes. It kind of just seems pretty self-explanatory, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to use like, I've got like a little spoolie to brush it through. And then I'm just going to use like an angled eyeshadow brush. I'm literally just going to mix them. So I'm just going to brush through my eyebrows I have decided that I'm gonna fill in the slit I don't know if it's gonna work or not but I am gonna fill it in just because I don't really like it anymore I always get an impulse to do it and then I do it and I like it for like the first two days when I fill it in and it looks cute and then by about the third day I'm like why did I do this and then it takes a while to grow back I'm gonna try and follow my natural shape but also like give myself the shape that I would usually fill them in with. Hey Siri, start timer for five minutes. Okay, five minutes and counting. Oh my god, they're very dark. Oh well, and we shall see. But yeah, my time is about to go out anyway. I've just got some... You're supposed to shampoo them out, but I'm not going to shampoo my eyebrows because knowing me, I'll get it in my eyes. I haven't actually filled my eyebrows in because, to be honest, I'm over here and my makeup's all the way over there. Just for reference, this is what they look like after. I definitely need to work on my technique. <laughs> but it's fine. And I'm actually very glad that they didn't stay as dark as I thought they would. But I think the colour is actually pretty good. It's darker than my hair, but for some reason my eyebrows have always been darker than my hair, which is really weird. I wanted to talk to you guys about a little brand. This video is not sponsored or anything, and they haven't asked me to say anything. But one of my friends actually recommended me this brand because she just said that they are... They're candles, by the way. She just said that... They're literally the best candles she's ever smelled. Like, they are just, they make the whole room smell really nice, even when they're not burning, as long as you leave the lid off. And she just could not say enough nice things about them. And she said they're a lot better than most expensive candles, and they're run by a small business, and they're made in Adelaide. So I was like, okay, I'm hooked already. So the brand name is called Primrose Hill Set. I got myself the Fresh Figs and Honey Scent, and this is a 225 milligram, just like metal candle holder they smell so nice i ordered them on like a thursday and then the lady who owns who runs the company her name is rachel she messaged me because i ordered them off etsy she was like i want to avoid delays and obviously the because oz post is kind of there's issues with there at the moment and because i live i'm pretty sure i live like a couple suburbs away from where they are based so she was like i'm gonna get my husband to hand deliver it is that like okay and i was like yeah that's perfectly fine um so i came home got the box it was the cutest box ever by the way when i opened it it was beautifully packed there was like tissue paper their own little their personalized like stickers type thing and then she left like a little note in there that said like thank you for ordering it was like a personally handwritten note and then she said that she'd added in something else so i opened it and she added in a whole other candle it's just like a mini version and it's a different scent so for some reason i almost bought this scent but then i went with this one instead and it's just weird and i, I don't know how she knew but um yeah so this the little one that she gave me is just a 60 gram just metal one um 
and this is the scent roses and sunshine this is the nicest smelling candle i've already burnt both of them and i absolutely love them and i just can't recommend them enough they're vegan friendly and cannot recommend this brand high enough and the owner is just lovely so i will definitely link this below as well if you want to get some and they're great not sponsored just would like to let you guys know <laughs> now let's get on with the rest of the vlog and maybe i'll have proper eyebrows on by then my sister and i are going to go to savers which is like a thrift store that i've been to in the past because it's like one of the only ones that's open and i'm planning for our next video to do tie dyeing so i need to buy some like white t-shirts and like jumpers that's what we're going to go do and then i also need to go and buy the actual tie dye at some point and i also today was planning on going to deliver my friend some muffins because I made muffins two days ago and I made way too many and my family will just eat them all so I was like well I'll go take them to my friend and his family but then I realized he's actually at school today because some people aren't dropouts but that's kind of the plan <laughs> I don't know. My sister and I just got home from like the thrift store and just kind of shopping in general because we went to a couple different places. So I thought I'd kind of show you what I got. So the first place that we went was to Savers and that's just like a recycle superstore they call it. So the first thing I got, I was mainly trying to look for um, obviously white things to tie dye, but I found this like long sleeve sort of like half turtleneck type of thing and it's also knitted so then I can wear that under clothes and stuff like under t-shirts and stuff for when it gets really cold and it would just be good for like layering I guess. And then I got this top which is kind of like a marl grey slash white type of colour it's actually it was actually brand new so it's still had the tag on um and it's just kind of pretty basic and plain it does have stuff on the back so i'm not sure how it's gonna be when it's getting like through tie-dye but i guess we'll see um and then i just got this white white polo with a grey stripe around the collar it's actually just an australian open top but it was really hard to find white things at the um thrift store for some reason so i didn't really get a whole lot in the way of that and this was kind of like a little impulse buy because i'm not the most like i'm not really somebody that wears dresses that often but i just thought this was so cute like i don't think i'm showing it very well but like it's just so pretty I didn't try any of this on though, but I think that'll be really nice. So yeah, that was it for savers. And then we went to Spotlight because I wanted to buy some actual tie-dye. Um, so I got this one. It was a bit more expensive than I thought, but I mean, I'm happy because it's got heaps of the different colors in. And the one that I was looking at was only gonna have like blues, so. I've got like rainbow now and I think this will turn out to be like a really nice tie-dye. Hopefully. Then we went to Kmart which is where I got some like aluminium just like baking trays. So I saw in like a YouTube video of somebody doing DIY tie-dye. Wow, oh, am I out of breath? That um, they use these to put the clothes in once they've been tie-dyed and obviously it like keeps it from getting everywhere. So that's that. And then I just got two other things which is from Kmart as well. I just got a plain white long sleeve. I got a large, it's just a men's large because I wanted it to be pretty oversized. Not really much to it, just like white and a long sleeve. <laughs> so yeah, and then the last thing I got was again, a little bit of, a, bit of an impulse buy. I really wanted a white hoodie. I mean, I really did not think I would be able to find one anywhere, but I found this one at Kmart it's not entirely plain because it does have like a logo on it and it's like some sort of brand whatever that is I've never even seen this brand before but yeah and it's also got stuff on the back which I'm not sure how that's gonna work with tie-dye I don't really mind if it's still there or if it shows through or if it doesn't like it doesn't really make a difference 
to me. I got this in extra large because as we can see, I wear my hoodies very oversized. <laughs> it's a little bit later on. It's like 7.20 at night. And I'm about to go and deliver my muffins. I'm gonna take them. I was gonna vlog in the car, but it's, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's like pelting down with rain and it's gonna be dark. And if I drive with my light on inside my car, I will crash and die. Yeah, I probably won't be getting out of the car because we're obviously like in a global pandemic and that's not great. So I guess I will see you guys when I get there. I look like ass. Sorry. I'm at my friend's house now. I'm just out the front. I'll just have to call him. I'm really sorry about the lighting. It's really bad. Bro! Come on, mate. I've got things to do. Not really. Oh. Somebody's bringing out the bin. I feel like that's not him. Oh, it is! Hi! It's a bit fucking wet out. Yeah. There you go. Oh God, I put you. a bowl on oh them. <laughs> They're not actually that good, but. I'm sure they're fine. How are you? I'm great. How are you? This is the worst drive of my life. It's wet. And I don't like driving in the city when it's wet. Because oh. it's scary. There's people. My windscreen wipers aren't very good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's fucking. You up. have to give one. To your parents as well. They're not that great, but I'll make something else soon and bring it as well. Thank you. That's okay. Have fun on your drink. Oh, I will. It's fun. Yeah. Bye. Bye. You're wearing shorts. Are you stupid? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Bye. Are you? Oh my God. I am. Bye. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. My so, love. Tell Bye. your parents I say hello. Okay. Bye. The inside of my car is now soaked. Uh, okay, I think I need to do something about that. Oh, bloody hell. So yeah, that's James. <laughs> He's my one and only friend. So I thought I'd bring him muffins. I'm gonna drive home now. I think this will be the end of the vlog, but I don't really want to end a vlog in here. So I'll probably end it at home. I'm gonna drive home now and try not to die. So if this vlog never gets uploaded, whoever finds my camera, I love you. So, um, I actually did forget to end this video properly, so this is now going to be the outro. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, um, subscribe if you want, leave a comment saying what your favourite colour is, and I'll see you in the next video hopefully. Bye, love you. <laughs>